Hey everybody! Welcome to another episode of ARC Survival Evolved. We are on the Creative Extinction server. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make what I'm standing on, how to make a mushroom in ARC. Just going to be a quick little... I was asked, somebody I think tried it and they couldn't figure it out. and It's actually very easy, um, especially to make the size of mushroom that I'm on. As you can see, I made a few... But I'm going to take you through how to make one. And I'm going to actually, I'm going to make two different sizes because the bigger ones are a little bit more difficult, but they're still fairly easy. So let's go in here. For the, for the size of mushrooms like that, right? You're going to need all you need is trying S plus triangular foundations. Um, you need walls and you need you need these S plus stone triangular roofs and I need another piece I don't have let's run over to my pig he's got some supplies and you need these you need S plus stone triangular ceilings let's grab half of those doesn't really matter as long as I can move I can move enough but let me take this opportunity to thank everybody for everything. You guys are all amazing. Um, all my old subs and new subs, all my views, all my comments, keep them coming. So I think we're just going to make another mushroom here. So let's just get this one started right away. Right, so it's just six of these triangular foundations. And then it's just six walls. I screwed that one up. So then it's just six walls. Let me put these. Well, actually, I go two stories, so it's going to be 12 walls. You don't have to go two if you want some lower to the ground mushrooms, which I might do later on, I guess. But. You just have to stay tuned for base update videos and stuff like that to see. Okay, and then it's just the, it's these triangles, which are, which are the S plus stone triangular ceilings. And that is actually, here, let's go up here. Um, it's easy just to put like three down and then you could just hook a ladder and then you could just crawl right up here because you might not have the tech you might not have tech gear um, you can make these early game I mean you don't need to have I mean there's really nothing special really I mean it's just stone and plus you don't even need stone if you want to make them out of wood you can make it out of wood I just prefer stone. I don't know why I keep hitting that one. But then you just do these all the way around. And then that gives you kind of the little extra lip. And then it'll just work out so it's all that. And then you just come with the layer of walls again. all the way around not there of course but as you can see it is pretty it's pretty simple um, I can see it being you know if you haven't worked with the triangular stuff before then I can see it being a little confusing if if you're newer to arc right and then now you you need to you got to make the rounds the top so then these are just triangular roofs s plus stone triangular roofs there are wood ones too so like i said you can make this out of and you want these so at every corner right you want two at every corner okay what do i want i want eight that's what i had right oh it does that <laughs> uh, 
But as you guys know, okay, so there's a trick to this too. So for some reason, this corner is going to be stupid. So then you hit Q and you actually put it down and then do it. Ta-da! And it snaps it up. It's, it's just, I don't know, it's arc. Right? So, but you can hit Q, put it up. Right, so you do this on every corner. Here, let's do... Let's go around to this corner. Okay, so this one's going to do the same thing that other corner did. Let's try it one more time. See how it, it's up, but it snaps down. Right, so let's pick it up. So let's use Q. Remember, Q changes, and then so you want it down, and then it snaps up. Okay, so, okay, that's up. Let's do eight again. That's up. Okay, and then once we get, oops, we missed a corner. This is where I think a lot of people have issues because now those pieces have to be upside down. So here, once again, I have tech gear, but you could just ladder up. Um, you could have a doorway down on the bottom to get out, but well, since I have tech gear, I don't need to use that. Well, maybe. Right, so I'll just fly out. So now you got this shape going on, right? So it's just pretty simple so far. It's pretty basic. If I could land up here. So here's here's where it gets can be a little tricky. So right, so now you have to get this to snap upside down to where if you can see, it's just I mean it doesn't want to snap upside down, right? So the trick to this, like here, and you can go th use your Q button to go through the different points of snapping, and it just doesn't want to it just doesn't want to snap in there, right? If you go directly across, get up on your tip, go across. You have to go so you can do this one, and you can do that one. But if you try to do this one, it'll do the same thing. It won't snap right, and same here. So then you just kind of got to move around, right? So now you can come up. You can do that one. No, and I fell down in. But that's okay because we want to go over here anyway. Right, so now you want to get across. But if you do the ones directly across from you, then it snaps like right into place. As you look, you just got to kind of line up. If I try to do that one, it won't snap right. So then you got to kind of move around and get straight across from it. Snap. So now you just kind of want to put the cone on the top, which is basically just six. And then get up here, kind of here too. If you get it, you want to get so it snaps right. Like there, and then come across from that one. Voila! There we have, look at, we have a mushroom. And those are just painted up mushrooms. This one is not painted. But there we have a mushroom, guys. So, as you saw, that was just, I mean, they're very simple. I'm actually going to come over here. Let's fly up. So, over here, I'm going to make a mushroom, but I'm going to turn it into a taming pen, which 
basically it's just going to be a giant mushroom. So I'm going to build a mushroom that's bigger than this. And uh, let's get this laid out. I do need... So now for this mushroom, you know, it takes a bigger base. So now you need stone foundations, the normal square stone foundations. I'm not sure I can carry this, but let's take it. I don't need 57. Let's get rid of half of those. And I believe I need some stone ceilings. Actually, I don't need stone. Yes, I do need stone ceilings. All right, follow me first aid. So we're actually going to build that over here. Um, I've been breeding dinos up in there, but I just... I mean, it doesn't really have a ton of room for this. So out here, I'm going to build a giant mushroom. So I'm going to get the foundation. I'm going to clear this. I think I need to cut these trees down maybe. And then uh, when I'm ready to build, I'll bring you guys back. See you in a bit. So guys, I'm right back. So I'm going to do a show you how to do a bigger mushroom right here. So you start with the same. These are foundations that I had sunk down into the ground a little bit. So and then from here, you know, we want to we want to go bigger. So just like when you build any circle using the S plus, we just want to come out. And then we actually, we want to come out another one. Oops, which is. Which is, I got to like get this lined up right. So it's just what it is, is it's a square on a triangle, right? So here's a triangle. So I need a square, square on a triangle. Here's a square, there's a triangle. So there's a square, that's a triangle. It helps if you can see under there, but I'm okay with that. So that's a square, so here's a triangle, like right there. I think, I think that's it. So then the, the same we want to use. We want to use triangle foundations. I don't have enough on me. Oh, my piggy doesn't have. All right, guys, I have to go get some more of these. I'll bring you back. So then, guys, you take the triangle pieces, and it's just three. You fill it in all the way around. And then you just you keep doing that until you get the size of the circle that you want. So it's basically wherever there's triangles you got to put squares and wherever there's squares you got to put triangles so I'm gonna finish making my foundation here to get it how big I want it and then I'll bring you back so guys I'm right back so I'm going this big um, I'm turning this mushroom into a nursery so I might as well do the gates now so if you're going to do something like I'm going to do something special with mine. So you want to take. So let's actually let's take I should have ceilings. I do. So these you're going to pick back up anyway. So. Right. Because you want something for the gate to click onto. Right. So it just clicks. If you didn't have the ceilings there, here, I'll show you. It doesn't click like that. This is another just kind of a little tip that'll help you out, right? So now it doesn't want to, it wants to click on to all the other ones to where it's just easier if you throw down. I just use ceilings because, you know, it just, it's the easiest for me. And then you just line it up and it clicks right where you want it to click right kind of lines up 
and then you can just pick these up because I don't want these or you can leave them in if you want to leave them in I personally don't want them in however I do want two gates so the trick with the gates is the gates will line up it has to be on the three triangle so I want my other gate to be here and I'm just using standard gates I'm not using behemoth gates um, if I breed any creatures I can't get through a standard gate then I'll just we have teleporters but if you do, you know, you just take them out when they get to juveniles before they get too big to fit through the door. You can just take them out. So I'm going to finish putting the walls up. I'm going to go as high as the behemoth gates. And then uh, I'll bring you guys back. See you in a bit. So you guys, so I got the, the shape how I want it here. I'm only going to go as high. I'm too heavy to fly. <laughs> I'm only going to go as high as the gates, I believe. And then from this step, we need to put, let's go out. I did add, the reason I have windows, because I'm going to use this as a nursery, and I'm going to put air conditioners in the windows. I did add a door out for me. So and then from this point, you have to... Okay, we got to get up there. And I'm too heavy to fly. Let's see if I can. And I can't jump. So I need to. It's nice to have a dyno with supplies. Let's see. What can I get rid of that's heavy? I don't need all those. All right. So doesn't matter what oh hang on I should do this so we're actually gonna just fly up I think I'm trying to think which ones I need first actually I'm gonna go get a bird I'll just keep you guys with me uh, look at I got some babies. These are all mutated RGs. These I think are really cool. Look at the purple, purple crowns. And they got, if you can notice their wings, they got like orange tip wings. So that's awesome. If you haven't uh, seen my base videos, I did an update. I didn't show any base building um, I usually show a lot of building and I just wasn't going to show any of this time. But let's grab this guy. These guys work the best for building, I think. This guy's pretty fast, though, so... Okay, we just need something to, to stand on. So that's all I really need here. Because I have a, I have the tech gear, so I'm just gonna fly up. But you could just use ladders. Get get a ceiling tile put up, and then you just put ladders out to get up here. So we need to put the lip on the for the mushroom shape. And I believe, I think we can just kind of start. think I think I gotta think here for a second it actually just might be so it's like that see I think it's the same as so these two are together right so it's so it's where, where there's two walls that are straight that's where you have to use the triangle pieces. And then at the corners, see how we use 
a piece there and then from here you have to use the triangle pieces again which is actually six then it sh probably will be five again oh my goodness right and then so this is five and then we have to use a straight piece and then it's five triangle pieces again and then a straight piece I'm gonna do this all the way around and I'm gonna then you just put walls around the outside when we're again just gonna go I think we might go maybe one or two up probably just one up and then uh, when I get to the roof part because that's the part that can be a little tricky I'll bring you guys back so you guys and we're back so this is what it looks like so far so I got the ring around it I needed to go two walls up because it didn't look right with just one because it's so much bigger than the other ones so now let's go back inside here so now basically we do the same thing with the roof so let's go up here so now you also have a lip around here so you can do something you know on the inside if you actually want to make this like a house like if you were in the forest in the middle of the jungle and just had a giant mushroom in there and lived in there and that was your base that'd be pretty cool pretty cool so I think we want to start out the same as we did on the smaller version to where the corners um, okay maybe yeah, see, wait, no, it, okay, let's do that, we, so now you need, you actually need, hang on a second, you need, where am I at, you need sloped roofs, and I made 25, but for some reason I think I'm going to need more than 25, and I'm trying to think how this gets started. So I think it's one there, and then a slope, and then a slope. Does that make sense? I don't think that does not look right. Here, let's get rid of that. So this side looks right, and then... So it's eight and nine. I'm like getting thrown off here. No. Okay, then it's a triangle. Then that triangle actually goes upside down. And then another triangle which goes upside down can I is it gonna put in there for me no and then then it's a straight one like so here let's get up on the roof well basically this is what you need that was lousy driving this is what you need to do and we and you need to do this like all the way around. Hey guys, and I'm back. So I actually decided to put part of a roof. Um, I was just having some issues putting these. Remember, these have to be. You have to be straight on to these to get the triangle ones to snap. And they just weren't snapping for me. See how they like to snap at an angle but if you get like straight on like that one's gonna snap that one's gonna snap and this can be it can get a little frustrating at times but you kind of learn that's a weird gap 
you kind of learn the little tricks of the trade. Okay, these are like snapping good for me now in there. Oh no, I fell. All right, let's go back up there. So this is just like the first, first layer. So let's get the rest of this done. And then now, so now it's just kind of the same way you, you do the same thing. Um, I don't think it's the same there though. So now I think it's, I think it's one there. I'll have to think about this for a second. I don't want to fall. And then I think that goes there. Right, that makes sense, right? And then these roofs actually go better. Okay, why are you being... Okay, then what, like that. And then... Like so... Let's cue that. Okay, I'm not at the right snap point. Let's go up. Let's go out here. No, I missed the roof. Hey, sometimes this a bird's just easier, but but that's what it is. So see how that's a square, and then here would be another like a normal roof piece. But for some reason, these are being stupid. But I'm going to do the next layer around, or actually here, I think I have, I do. Let's just, do I have, I do have a couple more. So let's get this one, try to get this one into place here. Okay, so you just kind of got to work your way around. And this should be two more. One there. Definitely the roof pieces help. I suggest doing that. And then triangle. And then all that it makes a big difference when you're not falling off. That. And then a triangle. And so forth. I'm going to finish doing this layer and I'll bring you back. So guys, now we got the second layer on the roof all the way around. So let's just let's fly up here real quick. And then you can kind of see we're getting the shape. So now basically this roof, what we have left is the same as that roof, right? So let's just land on the roof. Now let's just... Okay, come on, Betsy. All right, so now we can just do this all the way around. Make sure you hit the corners. Come on, Betsy. All right, that one's being stubborn, so we're going to leave that for the time being. Yeah, that doesn't matter, so let's get straight across and straight across from that one. Let's put one there because we need one.
and let's go. We need one there. So let's go over here where we got the straight across one. Straight across. <laughs> straight across. We got to fill one in there, which is fine. Straight across. Yeah, we got a triangle piece we have to fill in here. But I don't know why this one was being... Okay, this is... You guys know this is arc, so it's like sometimes things just don't want to snap. But we're going to get it in here because that's how we roll. Okay, that stayed. I don't know what the beef was with that one. And then we do have, actually we're missing the same. And then, you know, also you can use like glass up here if you want light in, but we're not gonna worry too much about that because we're gonna have power out here so we can just use lights. And then now we get to the top. Let's go around. And that one is like goofy for some reason. Or is it just the way? Yeah, that one's like goofy for some reason. Hmm. I don't know, that was kind of weird. That was, that's Ark being the greatest. It's like weird. Am I like goofy down here? Yeah, not really. And you guys can see they don't fit like perfect. But so then now we got our mushroom done, guys. Let's go down. So this is a bigger mushroom shape. You could also, you know, you could come out another row with the lip if you would like. So you come two out. Um, I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to keep it compact. Let's go up. And this is what it looks like from the sky. That's, that's sky view. So now we just kind of, we just got to paint it up. not sure um, what color I like the best I kind of like the blue and this is since blue is my favorite color I think we're just gonna go blue so I'm gonna paint this thing up guys and then uh, when I get it all painted up we're gonna add the air conditioners and some of the nursery stuff and then uh, I'll bring you guys back see you in a bit so guys we're back so we're inside the mushroom. I did monkey around with that a little bit, and it just it won't line up. So I'm not not sure what's goofy with that, but I went and got some stuff to turn this into my nursery. I am running, um, I'm running the tech generator, and this is in range. So right, I got powered AC. And I actually made eight. Oops, I don't want that. So I actually made eight of those. And that's kind of what I was going for when I put the eight windows in. And the S Plus air conditioners, as you see, they snap right in the windows. You don't need them. They'll go on the floor and whatever, but you know, they're up out of the way. Works good for eggs and stuff so it's that's just kind of a nice feature that s plus has um i do have i also have breeding things here so let's put i made four of these but probably don't need four i just kind of wanted it to look the same so i can i go i'm not even sure if i can go here it might be too close yeah can I go over here 
And yeah, I just, I can only do, wait, really? I can go in front of the door, but I can't go here. Arc. Oh, I can like, maybe I can. <laughs> I can go here. Let me just put one here just for shits and giggles. Wait. I'm going right there. And then can I move? Actually, I'll leave that right there. That'll be okay. I do also have... I got a refrigerator with me. And I got elevator flooring. Where do I want to put that? Let's see, I do have, actually I have, I have this too. So that's gonna be like an egg. Let's not put it there, let's put it, let's put it like right here. Can I turn that? I want that thing to face out. All right, plus it doesn't have to be perfect placement. All right, we, that's powered because it's powered off the tech generator. So you don't need, tech generators power everything, right? So you don't need refertilizer to power that. And then I do also have, I also have the Ace, I have a refrigerator and a feeding trough. So I think I'm gonna stick both of those up. I think just maybe, I don't know if I wanna do it there. I don't know if I wanna really do it there, but we can do it here, I think. I also have the S plus, oops, I don't want that. No. Ah, oh, shoot. Um, I might have to take, I might have to do it there. Can I take this one out? That would be great if I could pick it up, put it there. And then four is... Am I like too far? I don't think it's gonna work there because I just wanna crouch. Thank you. No, that's not gonna work there, so I'm gonna have to pick that up. Well, that's kind of lame. That would have looked nice there, hidden in halfway in the floor. And I do have spray paint with me still. So let's spray that up. So we're gonna have to put it out here someplace, which obvious is right here. Um, so let's pick that up. And let's put that there. And then okay, I'm just gonna go there. Hopefully, it works without ceiling around it. I think it should, right? And this is the S Tech elevator. Remember C to go down. Yes. Um, and we just space to go up. Does it throw me? No, it doesn't. Nice. So let's make that dark. And let's make this dark. And then we can also spray this, right? We can still see the, oh, we can make it, we can still see the, the ground, but that's okay. 
So we know that's the elevator to go up now. Because up here we want to stick our fridge. Because I don't want to monkey with the fridge down below. So let's stick our fridge up. And we're going to stick our feeding trough up here also. Not sure where I want the fridge though. So doesn't have to be any place special. It can just be tucked out of the way here. I basically want this to store eggs that are in the hatchery. And I don't want it down at the floor level. And then... We might as well just stick the feeding trough too. Uh, this will probably—I probably won't even use this feeding trough, but I want—I want one just to have one in here. Or actually, you know, the feeding trough we can probably put down here. Let's put the feeding trough down here. Okay, I think we have it, guys. We got the. Uh, feeding trough we got the extra fridge up above I did paint it all up I painted the other mushroom up let's see if we can pull here let's see if we can pull from the garden uh, we got berries we can't so we can pull we don't need berries on our refrigerator beer barrel the gardener we can pull from the gardener and we don't need them in the industrial cooker sure don't need them in the fridge let's pull yep so it does pull all the way here so that's nice it's nice to know you can just do that it's kind of cool Okay, guys, let's go take a look outside at our finished mushroom. So this was actually, as you guys saw, was fairly easy to make. Let's go up. So this is our mushroom-shaped nursery. You can make this pretty much at any... Uh-oh. I ran out of element in my jet pack. That's what happens. And I had element. Well, that kind of stinks but so that's what it looks like and our other one is over here I also painted that blue but you saw how easy this was to make and it's fairly easy and then this was our mushroom uh, that was our mushroom shaped nursery which turned out pretty good I don't think we can paint the air conditioners because that'd be cool too no we can't do anything did it change anything on the inside it did not but guys you saw how easy it was to make these mushrooms fairly simple we got a nice mushroom nursery behind us but guys I think I'm gonna end this video right here if you uh, if you need any help advice can't figure something out let me know in the comments and i'll try to help you the best i can With that said guys thank you very much for watching this episode and as always i'll catch you in the next episode bye now later